Hello, I am Brother Tyler, and this is the Book of Mormon Scripture Challenge. This challenge is for us to use the scriptures to prove the truth of God's doctrine. For all the history in the Bible and Book of Mormon, we see how mankind is prone to leave the God of all creation. What more, we see that when man knows what is right, he does not seek after it, but runs from it. The goal of the Book of Mormon Scripture Challenge is to seek for truth. Acknowledge what we could not see and follow after truth. The entire chapter of John 9 focuses on a blind man. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Jesus, of course, heals the man. The man, not knowing who had healed him, is then questioned by the Pharisees, which makes for an entertaining encounter in which the Pharisees frustratingly question him, then his parents, and finally, return to the once blind man, who says, Since the world began, was it not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind? If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. They answered him and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sin, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I may believe on him? And Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. And Jesus said, for judgment I am come into the world, that they which see not might see, and they which see might be made blind. And some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words, and said unto him, Are we blind also? And Jesus said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. The Pharisees studied the scripture and the law, and, with their understanding, would interpret the word of God. What we see in this story is how those who are learned, that trust in their own study rather than God, are made blind, while those who are blind will be given sight. We are so fortunate in our days to have the scriptures at our fingertips. We are all very well educated in so many more things than our ancestors could ever imagine. With all our learning, are we actually blinding ourselves? How often do we rely on our own understanding rather than God? It is good for us to be self-governing, but do we push it to the point that we doubt the Messiah if he were before us? Are we more consumed by wealth and popularity that we will reject Christ to seek after another gospel? We all have learned so much in our lives and confide that we have all the truth claiming that we can see. Are we willing to say, I am blind and open the word of God with new eyes every time we read and trust in the Lord that we will learn his will as though with new eyes? The Pharisees were blind, but they declared that they were the ones who could see. In their arrogance, they rejected God. But God does not give up on his blind children. When Jonah was blinded by his own emotions and ran from God, he ended up in the belly of a well. But three days in a fish was not enough to break Jonah. Jonah warned Nineveh, then went up and hid in the shade of a gourd to pout because he was still blind to God's will. So God caused a worm to eat the gourd. That was still not enough. So God sent a scorching wind with the heat in the sun to cause him to faint. The book ends with this interaction. And God said to Jonah, Dost thou well to be angry for the gourd? And he said, I do well to be angry even unto death. Then the Lord said, Thou hast had pity on the gourd, for the which thou hast not labored, neither madest it grow, which came up in a night, and perished, 
in a night. And should not I spare Nineveh, that great city, wherein are more than six score thousand persons that cannot discern between their right and their left hands, and also much cattle? We are all blinded in our own way. We have ideas and desires that we hold above all else. And when it comes to putting God first, well, let's be honest. We all falter. We need to be like little children who recognize that they don't know and willingly accept that they don't as they seek diligently to learn. I invite you to be like a little child, humble and willing to learn in your approach with God. Keep up the good fight. If you have any questions, please email me at brother3tyler at gmail.com or hop on the website at bomschallenge.org. Until next time.